Hey there, Monkeys here, and we're back at the site of our crazy project. Been uh, working on this for the last few episodes, got a lot of progress done, but today we're going to take a bit of a break from the outside structure and build a really cool farm uh, idea I had in mind uh, for in here. And uh, to be honest with you, if I don't get this idea out of my brain and into uh, into block form, uh, I think I'll probably go crazy. Uh, so this is going to be a, a farm that's uh, villager based. Uh, we're going to get uh, carrots, wheat, potatoes out of it. Combines a few concepts you've probably already seen uh, in other YouTube videos, and I'll put uh, some references to uh, to the the original designs down in the in the comments. But uh, I'm combining them together in a really neat looking structure that's going to kind of be suspended in midair uh, right about here, uh, and I think it's going to look really amazing. Uh, you know, even with uh, with all the grass around here, even before we put in all the flooring, it's going to look cool. But uh, later on, we're going to build these guys up into massive uh, massive lit up pillars. Um, and I think it's going to look really stunning when uh, when all that's done. But that that'll be for another time. Uh, this this episode we're going to focus on getting that farm done. Like I said, it's going to be in this area here. So uh, before we get started on the farm, we're going to flatten out some of this uh, land. I'm going to probably take some of the trees back a bit, just give us a little bit more space, and maybe mark out the row of pillars that lines up with that guy there, so that uh, we have a really good idea how that all lines up. <music> All right, cleanup's done. Land's been flattened out. Got rid of uh, some of those trees. Got some space to work. I uh, got some materials together, and I also marked out the center point uh, for our build here. We're going to make a, a massive sphere. It's going to be 31 blocks across. We're going to suspend it. Uh, top will be kind of near the uh, same level as this uh, lay flat section up here, and then probably have about a 11 or 12 block gap up from uh, from the ground. This will be the center point here, so it'll be centered uh, in between these uh, these three pillars. Uh, got all the materials together, so what I'm going to do is a time lapse for the bottom part of the build, and then I'll bring you back in so you can start to see some of the uh, some of the guts of the farm. Check this out. So this is the bottom third of the, the sphere. Still got quite a few layers to go, but uh, it's time to start putting some of the uh, the guts of the farm together before we get too uh, too far. It'll be a lot easier to do it as we uh, as we build up the the sphere. So if we head on up inside this uh, this first area down here, it's going to stay uh, mostly empty. Uh, might put in some redstone storing down here. Uh, for the results of the the farms above, haven't uh, decided for sure. And then up here is kind of the first. A uh, nice wide platform we can put in the middle of the sphere. So this is going to be the the bottom layer of a farm that I saw in a crew productions video. I've adapted it to uh, to fit within the sphere, uh, but it's basically a, a villager based uh, wheat farm. So this layer is going to contain uh, a minecart track with uh, a single uh, hopper minecart running back and forth. And what it's going to be able to do is it's going to be able to collect uh, collect wheat that the uh, the the farmer is going to farm. He's going to have. Uh, 
you know, some tilled farmland up here. Uh, he'll pay, be able to pick up the seeds, but he'll leave all the wheat behind. The hopper mine cart will pick that up, probably pick up uh, quite a few extra seeds as well, uh, and then drop that down into, uh, into the section below uh, to be sent uh, with the rest of the results of the farm. So we're going to build the uh, the minecart track next. Uh, really important to get that in now before we put in that layer of uh, of soil above, uh, just because it could be almost impossible to uh, to do that uh, within uh, within the space. It'd be a pretty painful job, I think, but it'll be really easy with uh, with the whole area open. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, in time lapse, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, and check this out. The wheat layer's finished. You can see it's up there with the uh, the green glass. And then I set up a, a temporary uh, minecart track uh, leading up there, and that goes back to this little uh, booth where we have our uh, our farmer that's gonna work this farm. So uh, he is gonna need uh, some preparation before we can get going. Uh, his inventory needs to be uh, filled with seeds, uh, as mentioned in uh, Crew Productions video. Uh, but yeah, we don't want any uh, any uh, wheat or any spot where he could potentially pick up wheat because we want all the wheat to be left on the ground. So what we're going to do is uh, I've got a lot of seeds in here in my inventory, so I'm just going to throw those down on top of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think he only has five in various lots, but uh, let's uh, let's go for overkill here and make sure... Make sure that he picks all this stuff up. Hopefully this will work when he's in a minecart. Uh, and of course all that stuff ended up over there. Crap. I think he grabbed some of it. We still, uh, we have quite a lot, quite a few, uh, quite a few, blah, blah, blah. We've got, <laughs> I think he picked it all up because we've got, uh, much fewer seeds in our inventory than when we started off. So now that uh, we've learned how to speak English again, let's uh, let's give this guy a ride. Uh, so I'm just gonna knock this out. Need uh, one little bit of track here. Ah, oh, there's some seeds hanging out down there too. Uh, might still be good. I gave it him a, a test stack before we started, so that might be all right. So let's give him a push and uh, and see if he makes it all the way up. Let's go, buddy. Whoa. Went the wrong way. Go, buddy. So if we've done this right, he should start going to work. We've got, uh, you can see all the wheat has grown up while I've been uh, getting this ready. And uh, let's see. Moment of truth. He planted. And yes, see how the wheat is, uh, is ah, crap. See how the wheat is, uh, is sitting there and I picked some up. So how this works is, uh, he can see all of the, uh, the, the tilled farmland, uh, I think within a 16 block radius, which is great because the sphere is uh, about a 15 block radius at its widest point. We're actually, uh, the widest point will be the next layer. Uh, so we're actually just under 15 block radius. 
perfect for him. So he can see every spot on the farm as long as he's near the middle. Uh, and then uh, there's this neat little trick. This is going to be, this is a trick from the, uh, from the two farms we're going to build above this for carrots and potatoes. So what you do is uh, by carefully placing the light sources, uh, this block here has a, has a light level of seven. And because we've blocked it off from the sky as well, uh, anytime you plant something here, it will automatically unplant uh, when when you trigger the string that happens to be here. Uh, so you see, I walk into the string and it unplants. So that'll uh, that he'll will drive him uh, him nuts. He's going to see that until farmland. He's going to periodically be be coming back to the center over and over to replant this and this will keep him centered all the time so that uh, he can see everything that that might not be planted that way he doesn't get stuck in a corner and miss that uh, the other corner is grown because uh, these guys do go into idle mode every once in a while so that's how this is going to work uh, so let's uh, let's give him uh, some time to to work away on that and uh, you know what we probably should fill up this glass so he doesn't uh, accidentally walk away uh, I don't know why I'd want to it's so nice up here I don't have any green glass on me, but uh, that'll do for now. And let's go take a look at the uh, the storage, see what we've got down there. Because um, uh, if the minecarts pass by and I haven't picked up everything myself, uh, we should see something in our collection system. So I rigged up uh, a few extra hoppers, a uh, little setup here for the uh, the other farms that are going to go above. Uh, but the wheat also goes down in here. And yeah, you can see we've got some seeds and some wheat trickling down here already. Uh, so this farm will generate uh, both wheat and uh, seeds, you know, whatever the uh, whatever the villager doesn't pick up. So it's pretty cool. So it, I think it's time to move on now and uh, and start building the uh, the next few levels. <music> So here we are. This is the carrot layer. I've just added this on top. Uh, this one's a little bit different uh, because uh, we're not going to collect everything with uh, with a minecart because uh, all this guy's going to do is harvest and plant carrots. Uh, so the trick we need here is we've got the second villager up here. His inventory is completely empty. This guy is starving and he's uh, he's suspended on this cool little uh, carpet uh, hit on top of a string. You can I don't really think you'll even be able to see that in, on YouTube, but. Uh, but yeah, carpet on a string. So he's up here. So the way this is supposed to work is the uh, the farmer is going to collect carrots. Once the farmer and this guy's starting off with empty inventory too, uh, nothing nothing fancy like uh, filling him up with seeds like on the level below. So he's going to harvest carrots. Once he's satisfied his hunger, he'll be he'll see, hey man, you're you're hungry. I'm going to send you some carrots. He's going to come up to the slab here. He's going to throw some carrots because. It doesn't kind of realize that there's a carpet in the way. It'll fall in the water. The water goes down uh, through that uh, that blue uh, shaft of glass that uh, that I sent down all the way to the hoppers, and we'll collect those carrots. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, this guy's kind of trapped up here, and he'll be hungry uh, for the rest of his life. But that's okay because this guy is going to realize his dream and farm carrots. So let's let him loose and see what happens. He's farming the carrots, farming more carrots. I should probably take a while. <laughs>
finally all complete. Here's a potato layer, carrot layer, wheat layer, mine carrot, pick up the wheat and seeds, and then uh, filtering system here. So basically everything coming down from those three farms is going to come into here. We've got some basic filters set up uh, that'll filter out uh, potatoes here, carrots here, uh, wheat and seeds. Well, the last one's actually whatever uh, whatever's left over, so it'll be seeds and anything else. And yeah, then they're going to get shot out into, uh, into these water streams down there. And I'll show you what that looks like down below. Uh, basically just have these uh, cool water columns going down to uh, our storage system nothing fancy down here because uh, we've already filtered it up top so yeah everything's going to come down here and you can see uh, already got almost two double chests of wheat uh, got about a double chest of seeds same thing for potatoes and carrots are coming up to the second level now too so a lot of a lot of stuff collected so far i love this farm this is amazing it's uh it's been one of my favorite uh favorite small builds uh so far <laughs> I guess maybe it's not that small, but uh, definitely smaller than this thing. So I'll put some uh, links in the description uh, to uh, tutorials to build the the individual farms, and then uh, you should be able to figure out from the uh, from the time lapses how I squeeze these into uh, into the sphere. So that's gonna be it for uh, for this episode. If you did, if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, uh, please do go ahead and leave a like or comments, feedback, always welcome down below. And if you want to see what I'm to, up to next, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. I think we might do another farm uh, in here uh, before moving on to uh, to some more structure uh, improvements. Anyways, until next time.